All right, welcome back everybody. This is our third segment of Seven Minutes for Seniors. Uh, I am Chris Wilson with Modified Independence, having the pleasure of being here with Wendy Angaro from Ortega Gardens. Um, so uh, we've already talked about the wonderful things that you guys do here, um, but like I was saying, we really want people to get to know you. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, when you're not here, yes. what kind of hobbies do you have besides Mm -hmm. getting all the extra fur off of your dog. That's right. Yep. <laughs> Playing with my dogs. Yep. Yep. That's definitely true. Uh, let's see. I like to read. I like to. Okay. So I, if people say that and mm -hmm. I got to ask, like, what are you reading? Are you reading Stephen King or are you reading? No, no, it's usually fiction. Although I am, I have a master's in counseling. Okay. And so some of it is counseling books. Um, because honestly, in my job, I'm also working on a grief uh, grief course that will make me a certified grief counselor. Oh, okay. Because a lot of this is grief. Oh, yeah. A yeah. lot of a family having to go, this is not the life I thought I was going to lead. It's got to be two Band-Aids, right? The first time when they realize mm -hmm. that they've got the problem and bring them here, and then the second mm -hmm. time when they, when they leave mm -hmm. the earth, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, there's a lot of grieving throughout the whole illness. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so I know that's a weird thing, but I, I do love studying more about that and helping my families as they process their grief through, um, through the years here. Um, and then I do things like um, diamond dot painting, silly stuff like that, some crafting. It's like kind of like paint by numbers, only you have right. little plastic pieces that you put in the Oh, picture. okay. All right. It's just a fun, stress-relieving sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, I, too, uh, have a 94-year-old father. I spent a lot of time with him. Um, thus far, no dementia. So if and when that happens, he'll be coming here. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, so that's how I spent a lot of time. Um, I have a... My sister and my brother here. My brother's a physician for Baptist. Okay. So I'm always picking his brain too because I love the medical world as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like your dad's surrounded by a, a good a good envelope of, of people yeah. in case something happens. Yeah, we're very yeah. very blessed. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So reading. Reading, doing crafting. Yeah. Spending time with my husband, going for walks. Uh, we live near the river, not on the river. I wish we did. Yeah. Um, in Until Orange a hurricane Park. comes along. Right, right, <laughs> right. Exactly. I uh, like to walk the river. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Orange Park's beautiful. That's uh, I live is. I live further back in Orange Park, back in Oakleaf. But yeah, oh, okay. we love Orange Park. It's, I used to live in Oakleaf. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. Love it over here on this side of the river. Mm -hmm. For the people on the other side of the river in Jacksonville, you should really come over here. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> um, we have trees and sidewalks. <laughs> exactly. And uh, I had uh, three baby deer in my backyard the Ooh, other night. Like, yeah, nice. you might not get that at the beach. You might have surfers in your backyard right. or whatever. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, um, so tying into the hobbies thing, uh, tell me something surprising about you. Ooh, something surprising. Okay, so if my administrator were here, he would want me to share this. Okay. Because he thinks it is hilarious. So I grew up in Miami, Florida. I went to Palmetto High School. A lot of very successful people have come out of Palmetto. We have a number of judges, a number of lawyers, but the most famous is Jeff Bezos, oh, wow. the founder and developer of Amazon. And my boss would want me to tell you all that I actually went out with him oh, wow. for a number of months. Um, and then I dumped him and I could have been so wealthy. <laughs> Of course, I might be divorced. Right? But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he's. I think he's been divorced a couple of times. He, he would have truly... been. He would have been number one, but he was still selling textbooks, right? Exactly. I bought so many textbooks in the exactly. '90s and early 2000s from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you probably just would have been number mm -hmm. one. It's true. Well, I mean, it's not true. that you're not a wonderful person, but I, I think somebody yeah. that makes that much money probably has a hard time yes. keeping a hold of a, yeah. of a spouse. So exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah, because they're usually working very hard and. 
mm-hmm. you know, to, to build their empire. So And he did build his boy. <laughs> but I knew even back in high school, he was a really brilliant yeah. guy. And even then, we, he was the president of Science Club. I was the vice president. Oh, wow. Yeah. And even then, he was talking about rockets. So he yeah. had always had a thing. Yeah, for a rockets. thing for rockets. Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I love asking that question. I love asking that question. It's the best question that I ask. I, I, I find out the most amazing things. So that's that's really cool. So Jeff, listen, if you're watching, <laughs> she's happily married. We're not going there again. But that's right. We had our chance. If you know anybody who needs assistance, then then Wendy is more than willing to help you out. Um, I'm sure you won't raise the price on him just because he's a multi multi billionaire, right? right? right. The price is the price. That's right, Jeff. <laughs> if you ever need me, <laughs> all right. I got to ripcord this thing. <laughs> that has been our third segment of Seven Minutes for Seniors. I am Chris. This is Wendy. Y'all have a great day. Take Thanks. care.